This is not your typical VIF film. In fact, it's not just one film, it's 25 short films shown together as a part of the Real Youth Film Festival. We work with youth to help them make media about issues that are important to them. And so we do a lot of arts-based youth empowerment work and we work in rural communities and with marginalized youth a lot. Paige Smith and her fellow filmmakers made a film called Omga, spelled O-M-G, and it's a humorous way of looking at how youth communicate. I hate John right now. Why? Um, I just told you. Jaku, jaku. It's about um, text talk and kind of mocking it in a sense because teenagers these days are really getting to a point where our ability to socialize with each other is limited because of social networking in a sense. Being a part of VIF isn't the first time this trio has had recognition for their films. Hey, so what's your food situation? What was that? Nothing. Okay. I have one film, it's called Neverland, and it won Best Overall Junior Picture at Zoomfest, and it won Best Overall Actor for my lead actor. The idea behind Real Youth is to give young people the skills to really understand what it takes to make a film. Um, we'll go in uh, and we'll work with a group of young people to brainstorm what issues are important to them and how to sort of storyboard that into a film um, using, you know, different techniques like metaphor and that sort of thing. Yeah. Using metaphors is exactly what filmmaker Laura Finkler did for her film, Going Nowhere. It shows this woman being like held back by a rope and it's basically to like a metaphor for like how people working at minimum wage are being held back and like people who, someone who works at minimum wage full time is still like below the poverty line that the government sets. Being involved in the festival is not only exciting but it shaped who they are today. It's really exciting, yeah I was pretty shocked when I first found out that I, um, I got in and stuff. I didn't really expect that because we had entered into this first contest and we didn't win. Um, but no, it was really exciting and it feels really neat because I like the Vancouver International Film Festival and I watch a lot of the films and stuff. I feel like without film, I wouldn't be me. Like, I wouldn't know what to say to people. Like, like who are you? I'm a filmmaker. And I feel like it's really, it's like who I am now, you know? And I feel really happy with what I've done and I'm really proud of it. I'm Peter Verge in Vancouver for The Express.